open personality, his embrace of this whole city, his ability to work with everyone has meant so much to all of us. So Bill, a fantastic job over 17 years. Thank you for all you've done. And uh, you have passed the torch uh, to a fine choice. Uh, Stephen, I just want to thank you for taking on this responsibility. This city right now, we have a lot to be proud of. Stop and frisk is down 93%. Crime is down four years in a row. And complaints against officers are down to a 15-year low, proving that together we can be safer. And I talk to everyday New Yorkers all day long, and I'll tell you something, number one issue by far Number one concern, number one fear is the possibility they won't be able to live in their own city. I want to be very, very clear, this is not a middle class tax cut. It's a shell game. It is an illusion. Something like state and local tax deductibility, it's been a part of American life since 1913, over a century. But if it is taken away, you will never see it again. If that right, which was meant to give people opportunity and help them live a better life, if that right is taken away, it will be gone forever. And it will undermine working families and middle class families. There are more than 700,000 New York City families that would see a tax hike if this plan were passed as is right now. 700,000 New York City families. The vast majority of them earn under 200,000. So that means working class and middle class families would bear the brunt. How much more would they pay cumulatively in taxes? 3.7 billion. Just those families in New York City. 3.7 billion more out of their pockets. That's what double taxation looks like. So it will take away money, ultimately, I believe, from support for mass transit and infrastructure, which we desperately need to keep growing and to be strong. It will take away support for education. It will take away support for public safety and for anti-terror activities. The city has the ability to do bold and important things faster and better than ever. That's something to be very proud of. And now we're gonna to need to fight shoulder to shoulder to protect that reality and to ensure this will always remain a city for everyone. Thank you. God bless you all.